y a une telle pauvreté et une telle misère qu'aujourd'hui, tout est prétexte à crise, tout est prétexte à règlement de compte, tout est prétexte à vengeance. Since the end of 2012, the Central African Republic, a small and very poor landlocked country of 4.5 million, has been convulsed by civil war and sectarian violence. A struggle over political power, land and resources now sees mainly Christian militia groups known as anti-Balaka pitted against a mostly Muslim militia known as ex Seleka. <laughs> Nearly half a million people are displaced. Almost 200,000, including most of the country's Muslims, have fled the country. And tens of thousands, like Aisha Amadou, are trapped in enclaves unable to escape. This is the very outer limit of a district called PK5 in the nation's capital, Bangui. Aisha says she can't take a single step further. Meanwhile, 20,000 Christians are trapped in this miserable displacement camp near the capital's airport. J'avais entendu parler de cette crise, mais l'ampleur de cette crise m'a vraiment impressionnée. In the midst of this, independent expert Marie-Thérèse Keita Bokoum, appointed by the United Nations Human Rights Council, arrives in the country for her fourth visit. Here she confers with Muslim representatives in PK5. Her task is to monitor and make recommendations on the human rights situation in the country. Depuis un an et demi, la crise a explosé. Toute la population en souffre. Et vous voyez sur le visage des gens la souffrance. Marie Therese travels the country to assess the crisis. Here she goes east to Berberati. A human rights officer from the UN peacekeeping mission, MINUSCA, provides support. She visits a local prison. The mayor has assured her there are no women prisoners, but... Et mais ce qui était le plus frappant, c'est de voir toutes ces personnes réunies dans une seule cellule et surtout de voir une femme dans la même cellule que les hommes. Et plus marquant, ces détenus n'avaient rien à manger. N'avaient absolument rien à manger. A key ally in Marie-Thérèse's efforts toward reconciliation is the Catholic Archbishop of Bangui, Dieudonné Anzapalanga. Au plus profond de nous-mêmes, dans nos cœurs enfouis, existent des situations que nous avons vécues et que parfois qui sont là comme des bombes. The Archbishop believes that the route to a new era for the country can only pass through a deep, honest and shared accounting of what happened. On peut se tromper, on peut faire du mal. Peut-être que vous, vous n'avez pas tué mon père, on vous a mandaté. Vous l'avez confessé. Vous avez dit de vos propres bouches que vous avez tué. Je suis libéré. Je peux maintenant faire mon deuil. Et c'est là où la réconciliation pourrait avoir son sens. In a practical demonstration of reconciliation, the archbishop protected an imam who had to flee for his life after fighting broke out in his district. Imam Kobin Layama still lives close by. The UN is striving to build on these hopeful signs by helping organize nationwide consultations. After her visit, Marie Therese, one of the experts of the Special Procedures System of the Human Rights Council, brings her recommendations to the Council in Geneva. Her goal is to mobilize international support for the conflict's resolution.